let's start with that Australian dollar because it's looked like it's looking like it's pushing higher in this session. Yeah, it's been a pretty broad-based US dollar selling session actually, and I think the Aussie dollar and the Kiwi have led the move higher. I must admit, I'd been looking for the Aussie dollar to push itself up above 74 cents. But when we saw the China GDP yesterday, it, well, fall short of already watered down expectations, I thought the Aussie dollar might be in for a little bit of a, a pullback, if you like. But it did pull back, came back towards 73.80. But in today's session, as I said, the US dollar has been very much well on the back foot. And that followed the weak industrial production figures that we saw in the US overnight. When we look at the US curve, there is 25 basis point hike already priced in in September 2022. So a little over, oh, just under 12 months away, which is just three months after tapering is expected to end. But out towards the end of 2022, we've got 45 basis points of tightenings priced in. That was before the IP number last night. And I think the market's starting to reassess how aggressively the Fed will hike. I mean, these pricing that we're seeing in the market is ahead of the Fed's own expectations. What that means is we're seeing some broad-based US dollar selling in this session, and the Aussie dollar's had another kick higher. It could start to push up towards that 74, 78 high. That's been my ultimate goal. I thought we'd see a pullback before then. But if it could then get above 76 cents, which is roughly where that 200-day moving average, it would indicate that we're suddenly looking at a, a more protracted type rally and certainly a squeeze of these Aussie dollar shorts, which we've been speaking about over the past couple of weeks.